Hello, I'm Charlie. I'm Anna. Uh, Anna is in my new music video. How did you find it? I really enjoyed it. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. How would you describe what it is? I would say it's a world where like emotional connection is conveyed through colours and like lightning and it's just a story of two people meeting and I don't think either of them expect it. When you like pitched the idea to me, I saw it's nothing like well, it's definitely nothing I've ever done before. And I just, I didn't think there was much like it, so. Sure. I like the sound of the character too. Not my typical genre of music, but no, I really like it. And I think with the whole story, it would look really good. So, where did your idea come from the music video? It's obviously inspired by the song, but I was thinking a lot about kind of predestination and what love means and how it is an ambiguity to it and I wondered how a world where there was kind of no grey area what it would be like. I like the idea of a music video that's also sort of a short film. Yeah. Um, instead of kind of focusing on the the kind of niceness of it, I think mine and your character are very much what would it be like if everyone knew what love was and you didn't. Do you think um, filming went well? I do think it went well, yeah. yeah. We were really lucky because most of the stuff we shot obviously was it was sunny or it was indoors and then it was that one really cold day and it's a kind of weird process because most of the shooting was done before you were even kind of cast or on board yeah. so the really crucial storyline stuff was all shot in a very short block. I think I quite enjoyed the fact that it was all shot for me anyway quite close together because it's sort of just consumed my life a bit for the past few days. <laughs> Did you find it weird shooting out of sequence? Yes, I always find that weird because obviously mm. I've done it before but it always gets me because you just want to follow like the chronological order yeah, of it, yeah. but you don't. Because your first scene was like a really pivotal scene, <laughs> but you have no context at all. But then when it all comes together, you're like, I get it now. When our two characters meet, obviously, it's kind of like there's a there's a really genuine instant connection, and actually, it's kind of a sort of a reverse courtship in a way because it happens so fast, instantly, mm -hmm. and then everything from that point is steadier. I do think that sort of most people can relate to just meeting someone where you just have an instant click and that's sort of what I try to think about when we film. Sure. Like just meeting someone and you know when you just feel like you just gel with a person. Mm. I think we were talking about this where, before mm. we shot. My character is pretty full on. <laughs> <laughs> she likes it. She enjoys it. Yeah, I guess it's that <laughs> endearing intensity that if it's right, maybe it's good, and if it's wrong, it's really creepy. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like on camera, though, it has to be like that. Yeah. Because yeah. it doesn't, you can't, you can't see the plane hard to get on camera. Like, it doesn't <laughs> come across very well. We, we couldn't shoot a 12 minute version no, where couldn't. she's taking ages to reply to text. <laughs> on camera, it looks good, but in real life, it might be a bit fun. I think for me, the best moment, you don't know if you'll agree with that. When we filmed at the bus stop, and sometimes we just couldn't get it, we couldn't get it yeah. right, and it was just making me laugh. I think it's important to point out that most of the laughing was my fault, yeah. not yours. But it's fine, because it, it was making me laugh, and it was also my fault, but it's just an enjoyable moment for me. But I think my favourite, probably, thing to film, I don't know why, but do you know the one with all the papers and me collecting the papers and then having the connection yeah, and dropping yeah. them? I just like that. <laughs> That's a very weird one It is a random one. <laughs> I don't know why, I actually don't know why. I would also say, obviously, the walking towards each other, purely because it was funny. But it was very funny. I like it was the 360 round everyone, that <laughs> one. That was the one that I ruined the take on. I think it's going to be amusing to watch, knowing what it was really like versus yeah. what it looks like. That's what I was saying to some of them earlier. I was saying, like, when you're actually filming, it's so awkward, isn't it? Well, it's not awkward, but it's I so think quiet. It's it awkward. was it's just They're quiet. quiet. Is tough. Like when you watch stuff and you see films and like music videos, you think, oh like that's so good. But you don't actually realise how quiet it is when you're actually filming it. Yeah. And yeah. when we were so close that I didn't know where on your face to look, so I just ended up looking at your nose the whole <laughs> three sixty. I, I never know, know which eye to pick, so I I pick the nose <laughs> So what was your favourite scene to film? Um I have two. Directing, I really enjoyed the stuff with you on, on the, the kind of park bench. Oh, yeah. Because um, it wasn't very much pressure. We had a lot of time for a small moment. Mm -hmm. And it was also, obviously, the first thing you shot, so mm -hmm. that, was, that was really cool. But um, as an actor, I found the bus stop kind of fun because even though it was raining and it was freezing cold, um, there were, it was that thing of there being kind of less pressure and it was all right to kind of feel the moment out and 
and do the scene a few different ways and, and yeah. sort of find it. I think the bus stop was nice to just sort of play around if we needed to. I found it amusing the people walking past. <laughs> um, and do you remember there's a part where my character sort of faints from the intensity <laughs> of the connection? It didn't like, always go that well when we No, I didn't, I didn't hurt myself. <laughs> it's the record. That would have been a blooper. Did that even, was that even a I don't job? think it's I in frame. I don't think it was, no, I never thought. It was like on a trampoline, you just literally went. Yeah. <laughs> And have never fainted, so, you had to. Yeah, I've never fainted, so, so I didn't really know what I was down. doing. <laughs> so, if, it, if people who faint 24-7 look at it and go, that's stupid, I apologise. <laughs> if this were a longer project, yeah. is there any other elements that you would like to explore? Yeah, I think more, more just her backstory. I feel like I'd like to sort of know more of the person she is. I probably wouldn't fall for someone so easily as she does but it makes me wonder why she liked that why is she so mm. open to but i agree i would have liked to see kind of where your character came from a bit more and i really like the idea of this this person who's not being kind of disheartened by the fact that she's never really found that connection and not just sort of accepting it and i think it's ambiguous when you're looking at the story as to how it works but do these people who can't generate any electricity, is it because they physically can't? Or is it because they haven't and then, you know, they've kind of maybe given up trying a little bit? Yeah. And I think there's a parallel there for loneliness in real life. And I think there's something really endearing about how your character's trying to make a place for people to feel supported. Yeah, I like um, that. Which I think is really nice. Also, speaking about the support group, I'd like to know their backstory. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Obviously, it, the, the final dialogue's not in the um, edit because the music's... That's actually right. one of my favourite bits of film as well. That. Kieran, uh, the, the character who's uh, kind of standing up as my character enters for the first time, um, was kind of ad-libbing this really like tragic... Elaborate story yeah. about a girl called Charlotte. <laughs> and um, it was... It, he, he kind of teared up at one moment <laughs> right before we went cut. And I tried just, so hard not to laugh as well. I think that would be an interesting thing to look at, is to see in the kind of finished version what was actually being said. Yeah. Because <laughs> you know, there was obviously times where it didn't really matter what the dialogue was, but then there were times where we were improvising what would actually be said if it, if it were real and if it could be heard. Yeah. The ones where there was something to be said and there was a real interaction that was happening in between us that was quite meaningful. Yeah. I think it was important that we actually sort of had some dialogue mm, there because I, think that helped. I felt like I needed that. I don't know about you. I no, I did too and I remember the moment at the bus stop where our eyes meet. Mm -hmm. I think I'd ruined like four takes at this point and then um, <laughs> and Anna was sort of like, do, do you need me to look away <laughs> so you can actually get it? And you were like, no, no I think I need it. Yeah, it, it, was me, it was me being childish really, and I think I should have been a bit more mature, but um, I think it's quite important to live in that moment and be able to share that connection with it and it be a lot more raw and real, yeah. rather than kind of camera trickery and, and sort of cutting around the truth of it. Because sometimes it can seem pointless that you're doing all this dialogue and no one's going to hear it, but I don't think you can fake the expressions, it shows, yeah. it shows you know, when you actually do say the words. Yeah, I, I think that, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but... It made all the difference. Yes, I do think it did make all the difference. Yeah. Do you think, after making this one, that you'll do some more? I would do it again, I think, because mm. it's been so much fun. Um, would you be in another one? I definitely would be. I really loved it, so definitely. So, I've been Charles Darling. I've been Anna King. And make sure to check out my new music video starring myself and Anna. Thanks. <laughs>